there's not really much to this question. What's the y-intercept? Well, it's right here. It's seven. That's literally it. This should be a two-second question. Now, because I need to stretch this over a minute for it to not to become a YouTube short, I will add in a little piece of extra advice. Some people think, because they struggle with pacing on the math uh, section, specifically the hard module, they think that it's in their interest to start the math module by going to the end where the harder questions are. Those are the ones they tend to run out of time on. So they think, oh, if I go to the end and I do those first, then I won't run out of time on them because I'll have all the time in the world to do them. Yeah, but then where will you run out of time? On stuff like this. So even though this question is, you know, really easy and you're like, oh, I'll be able to get it done at the end, I don't trust that, right? You're going to spend too much time on some of those hard ones and it's going to completely throw off your pacing. And whether it's the math section or the reading section, our goal is to maximize correct answers. Yes, maybe some of the hard ones are worth a little more. It's still very unclear whether that's true. But regardless, you want to get the easy points. It's not that big of a difference in, in, in value that it's better to get all those hard ones right at the expense of these. This will really hurt your score if you mess this up. So I'm assuming the only people who are watching this video are the ones who didn't make time for it. So that's why I'm addressing this to you about the pacing. But please, yes, just go in order in the math sections until you get to about question 15. Then you can start skipping around but you really can't afford to get something like this wrong.